10 minutes. That's all they could find. There's only 10 minutes worth of ads from the 50s. You know, there are lots of activities going on about this season of the year. The one you'll find uppermost in the minds of most high school students, especially toward the end of any week, is football. And the night before the big game, there's generally a rally. Now, you don't want to be late, but before you go, remember... I'm just imagining, like, some some dad in the 50s sitting down to watch TV and, like, this just this guy is able to reel him in. He, like, he, he like, goes, oh, huh. Like, puts his, puts his hand below his chin. He's like, oh, all right, let's... This, let's take a listen to what this fella has to say. This guy's this guy's got some interesting points. Let's hear him out. Game, there's generally a rally. Now you don't want to be late. Beer in the oh, left no. hand. Remember, you're planning. Hand underneath his chin. Afterwards. Now you've right got hand. the idea. Put plenty of coke in that refrigerator. Ice cold Coca Cola will be a mighty welcome sight when you return. You know, it's a good idea to keep plenty of coke on ice all the time. Coca-Cola has a I see, I see. All its own. A flavor that has never been equaled. Coca-Cola is popular. I like 50s ads are just just like uh PowerPoint presentations and business meetings. They just, you know, hit you with the bullet points and try and convince you. They're like, "All right. This would be good to have uh for like kids after a football game." Point 1. And 2, it's cold and it uh, point three tastes good. So basically, that's why you should buy it. Which makes it ideal when you're expecting guests. Now, that's true whether it's a casual gathering like this one or a planned party. The bright. I thought he was going to say a formal gathering. Always welcome. It's a flavor that has made Coca Cola the most asked for soft drink in the world. Have a Coke. Ah, Coca Cola. Back to present ancient Chinese pantomime. What? Just for fun of it, Jello tonight. Back to present small Chinese Thai baby waiting for dessert. Chinese what? Of our bling baby Jello, famous Western delicacy. Poor Chinese baby, he unable to tell if this Jello is strawberry, raspberry, jelly, orange, lemon, lime, apple, black raspberry, black cherry, or grape. Jello come in all ten flavors. Oh, Chinese baby, but Chinese baby, <laughs> great Western invention, spoon. Spoon was in. Oh, this is so bad. Baby, fine. This is grape jello, deep, dark, delicious new flavor. Chinese baby, very happy. So in ancient Chinese pantomime <laughs> is pretty good commercial, no? <laughs> oh no, that was not good. Ritz crackers. Hey, 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 that supply of Ritz seems on the fritz. No, no, stop, darling. Don't blow your top. I always keep another box handy. Dandy. There's, there was definitely a father watching this and going, ah, music these days is awful. This is just garbage. This is nonsense. Music is just going off the walls. This is just too far. He knows Ritz crackers are richer, crisper, and his mouth is full, or he'd help us whisper. Only Nabisco... Ah, uh, this must be what the kids are listening to these days. I'm a spaceman. The moon and sun and all the stars are great big Tootsie Roll Pops. I'm a princess. I thought the song was going to keep going, but it didn't. I couldn't understand a thing of what she was saying. The kids in the neighborhood say Tootsie Roll Pops are triple good, triple good. That was sure. ear splitting. Because one, there's good tasting food. The neighborhood say Tootsie Roll Pops are triple good, triple good. The neighborhood say Tootsie Roll Pops are triple good, triple good. The neighborhood say Tootsie Roll Pops are triple good, triple good. That's that's awful. That's really awful. Sure, because one, there's good tasting hard candy outside, and two, there's a delicious center of Tootsie Roll in. <laughs> it's it's the, another PowerPoint presentation. They're like, all right, we got to set up the points. They're like, no, 
no further creative ideas. They just like, they actually wrote down on paper, like, all right, bullet point number one, what are the ideas we want to convey in this commercial? There's number one. All right. Number two. And it's like, all right, well, how do we present this? And it's like, just say the bullet points, man. What do you mean? What do you mean? How do we present it? And three, only touch your old <laughs> yeah. Ariana Grande, uh, really crafted her sound, uh, after that, that one performance there. Why did they think that was good enough to do twice in the same ad? The prettiest, yes, the prettiest heads in town are turning to Shasta for a hot cream shampoo. When lanolin enriched Shasta meets hot water, hundreds of tiny cells explode into hot lanolin lather that cleans and lusters hair as it blends with your own natural oil. I love th it's it's more of just like explaining the product. Like th it it expl tiny cells explode. This is why you should buy the product is because we got tiny cells to explode in it. To give you a caressing hot cream shampoo. As an extra treat, Shasta's lanolin lather is rich enough for a deep scalp treatment. After a vigorous massage, Wrap head in hot towel for two minutes before final rinse. Feels like a 350 hot... <laughs> Everyone who used that product probably has cancer now. Wow, nine cents. Yeah, what a deal. Feels softer and will stay its behaving best for days to come. When you it's have probably caused by all those exploding cells. With Shasta cream shampoo. Skippy peanut butter. <laughs> to 60 years ago, people were introduced to peanut butter for the first time. They looked it over carefully. The daring and courageous bought it. Well, children loved it. But Ma and Pa were more critical. <laughs> what what is up with this is this just like a a constant in life is that older people are just like critical of uh literally everything they even hated peanut butter what is this for real even ma and pa were critical of peanut butter ah these kids are too lazy they don't want to eat the peanuts they're trying to smush it into peanut butter discovered it had several drawbacks the drawbacks of peanut butter. And sticky. And didn't stay fresh very long. It was rather hard to digest. It didn't taste like peanuts. Grown-ups never became peanut butter fans until 1933, <laughs> when a new kind of peanut butter started to appear in grocery stores. Commercials in the 50s were either PowerPoint presentations or deep lore explorations. It looked different. It smelled different. It tasted different. It had practically nothing in common with the old style product. I agree. We should bring this tile advertisement back. That was the end of the commercial. Their their conclusion was just this is nothing like uh, the other uh, the other stuff. After giving the deep lore of peanut butter, incredible. Discover the clean difference. The clean difference in today's smoking with new Bel Air cigarettes. Breathe, Woo! smoke clean with Bel Air. Yeah, I'm sure that the cigarettes are going to help you breathe easy. The clean difference in taste. Deep set, recessed filter. The clean difference in filter tips. Breathe easy, smoke clean with new Bel Air. I got some bad news for you, Bel Air. Difference in smoking. Wow, uh, shout out Mr. Clean. Been around for a while. I didn't even really realize how old Mr. Clean was. 
Dirt to the left. Dirt to the right. Dirt above. Dirt below. Like this is where the all the dads would say, this is complete nonsense. I just want the facts. Give me the facts about Mr. Clean's cleaning. I don't want to hear of this uh, nonsense of uh, dirt over here, dirt over there. Just tell me, give me the bullet points, man. You have a secret weapon. New Mr. Clean, he's mean. He hates dirt. New Mr. Clean gets rid of grease. They assassinated JFK with a Mr. Clean gun. We need to look into this. This is new intel. No other kind of cleaner cleans like new Mr. Clean. No liquid, powder, detergent, cleanser, or soap. Nothing. Mission completed. Thanks to your secret weapon, new Mr. Clean. He's mean. He hates dirt. Yeah, you gotta be... You gotta have a VPN on if you're gonna be commenting that kind of stuff. This is the coffee pot at work. Listen to it perk. Look at the coffee as it gets darker and stronger. Smell the honest coffee smell. Ah, smell it. But will this cup of coffee taste as good as it smells? You bet it will because it's Maxwell House. The coffee that tastes as good as it smells every time. Maxwell House coffee tastes as good as it smells every time. If you like to look at good coffee, listen to good coffee. Any coffee, uh, coffee lookers around here? Brew Maxwell House. The coffee that tastes as I love to look at coffee. Every time. Maxwell House is good to the last drop. It tastes as good as it smells every time. Maxwell I should House. sample that. I'll, I can turn that into a pop song. This lucky baby Get a, Ed Sheeran on the beat. The night. Yes, no matter how high the temperature goes outdoors, this baby's RCA air conditioner will keep his room filled with cool, dry, fresh air and keep that room so comfortable and quiet, he'll never need a middle-of-the-night lullaby. Yes, quiet is the word for this new 1954 RCA air conditioner. It's kind of wild to see an advertisement for air conditioning. Silently cools the air for you. RCA, America's finest air conditioner, goes quietly about its business. It's like seeing an ad for a, a light bulb. Its exclusive hush fans silently push the air through the room in a fresh, cool flow. Listen how quiet and see how simple. This young lady is responsible for the weather in her home. It's as easy as... She's responsible for the weather? Wow. With its cleverly concealed panel... Flip the switch for a uh, thunderstorm off, please. Now she's setting the thermostat control for... Constant Getting sick of the thunderstorms in the house. Can you please turn the thunderstorms off? Thermostat makes certain of the same cool, gentle room temperature. I'm planning on turning the tornadoes on tomorrow. ...suit any room. One just right for you. And for RCA service and installation, get one of these RCA factory service contracts. Then you'll be certain of America's finest service. You gotta sign a contract with the company? The RCA air conditioner. Click here for more retro stuff. No. It's not possible. The commercials of the 1950s were almost like documentaries. Back when ads actually explained what the product was. I love the 50s, but I finally realized why. All the simple wholesomeness of the time was done on purpose. Trauma from the war and having grown up during the Great Depression, adults just wanted the safe, warm home they felt they never had, and it reflects in everything, even the commercials. I went to see the Jell-O commercial remade for today. People would immediately melt down on social media. Yeah, you. I wonder why. Why do you think that? Why do you think that people might be a little upset about that ad? Let, let, let's hear. Surely, surely to you, it's something that's completely bro blown out of proportion. Good stuff, great stuff. I wasn't born yet, but these commercials make me feel warm inside. I was born in the wrong generation.
All right, let's see some from the 60s. Crest toothpaste. Don't you just love this new toothpaste with my dress? It's the new <laughs> What is this? Or do you prefer that you just love Hold on, is this an ad placement in a TV show or did they construct an entire sitcom set for this Crest toothpaste ad? This is wild. Don't you just love this new toothpaste with my dress? It's the new mint flavor Crest. Or do you prefer the regular Crest? I know both have cavity fighting fluoride, but the new mint flavor, I don't know, it just makes me feel so wild. Is that a Carol Burnett? Not her, but the one that it cut to on the couch. Fight cavities, so use one for your uppers and one for your lowers. Then wear the dress with sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Be truly. Dear kids and teachers, yours truly, your lovable postman is here with post alphabets. Yeah! Wait till the children wait till it reached us. Dear teacher, wait till they taste post alphabets. Every what is his accent on this guy? And every letter's a little bit better for you. Wait till recess. At recess. It sounds like they got some guy and told him do a uh, like a southern or country accent, and he said okay, and then he went home and slipped on a puddle in his kitchen and woke up and couldn't do it right. You can try my alphabets, teacher dear. Reese's! They're delicious! Get alphabets in the new post-compact box. It's like if they got some guy who'd never heard of a, a country accent and they're like, they tried to explain how it sounded to him and this is his best attempt. Saying in alphabets, dear kids, I-L-B-C-N-E. That's so bad. Alright, my left ear is uh enjoying this. It's a what? It's a swing wing. It's a wing wing. A friend is trans with grand fun thing. This is what? Awful. If you do this for more than 30 seconds, you're gonna get a headache. And now it's your favorite story. It's a what? This seems horrible. Get Swing Wing, made by Transigram, where the fun comes from. It's a Swing Wing. It's a what? Once upon a time in the deep jungle, there lived. Just grow long hair. Well, exactly, you get the product for free. And the precocious parent. This one is just I don't know. There's just something weird about this one. I can't really put my finger on it. Polaroid Swinger. The incredible new low-priced Polaroid land camera for black and white pictures in 10 seconds. Meet the Swinger, the incredible new Polaroid land camera for 1995. I gotta get one of these. Swing it up and take a look. Then turn the knob until it says yes, right in the viewfinder. Okay, you've got the right setting. Ten seconds later, you zip off a perfect black and white picture. The Swinger freezes action. It's always in focus. And it gives you beautiful close-ups. Incredible. Especially at 1995. Hey, meet the swinger. That is true. The, they have all been in black and white except for the first one. I think it's because it was. That had to have been on a, like a product placement on a sitcom. It was just too weird. Suave lotion. 
Hey, Millicent, I'm five, but my sister is beautiful, especially on telephones. It's Tom, darling. What? <laughs> my sister is beautiful on telephones? We instantly go wild and peek at our frizzle, frazzle hair ends. Everything depends on the ends, the vital beauty inch. When the ends dry, hair flies, and we get the wispies. See? Our vital beauty inch becomes absolutely revived with Suave. Suave's first name is Aline Curtis. Suave lotion is so light, so non-greasy, just a kiss. Silken's every strand. Suave revives our vital beauty inch, so hair behaves shiny, gorgeous, all over. Where is she? Probably in a grave. With Suave. Helene Curtis Suave Lotion. Or, for extra dry hair, Suave Cream Concentrate. Pro uh, that's probably not accurate, actually. 60? Yes, she looks like she's 20. So... Marge, how many times do I have to tell you not to call me... So she'd be like 90-something. But honey, this is an emergency, and I don't know what to do. The drain stopped up, and the water's running all over everything. Well, what can I do about it? Call the local rotor rooter company. Oh, and while he's there, have him check all the drains. I've noticed that the the 60s commercials are retaining some of the very informative bits of the 50s commercials, but now they're like they're doing a little bit more entertainment with it. 20 minutes last night for the bathroom. It's an interesting evolution here. Why didn't I think of Rotor Rooter Sewer Service? Bye, dear. Hey, this one's in color. I just realized that. On Roto Rooter to save the day. Call Roto Rooter. That's the name. Go double down. Roto Rooter. Roto Rooter. Roto Rooter sewer service for any drainage failure. I actually didn't know what that was an ad for until just then. Mm-hmm. It's the syrup. Mrs. Butterworth's maple flavored syrup. There's butter. What is up with the color on this? Butter and syrup? Hmm. That's different. I hear they use three tons of butter each week to make This is, cannot be the actual color. Someone screwed up with the color here. Mmm. You better buy some more. I did. Thank you, Mrs. Reed. You're welcome, Tom. <laughs> hi, I'm Carol Reed. Here is the thing. Oh, hi, Carol. with the kids. Delicious no-bake brownies made with Nabisco sugar honey grains finely rolled. You see, to the grams, you just add some evaporated milk, miniature marshmallows, chocolate bits, and then, well, the recipe's right here on the box of Nabisco sugar honey grams. And it's so easy, there's no baking. You just chill and serve. And these brownies are wholesome brownies made with pure Nabisco grams, not just any graham cracker. It's a wonderful, delicious... Wow, good to hear that Roto-Rooter has gained a, a new customer. ...gives you your favorite sugar honey you know, graham. 70 years it's later. You'll love no to see it. brownie recipe right on the side of the package. You try it, won't you? I guess 60. A great big hit with the nibblers at your house. Oh, yes, Tommy. Please, can I have some more? You sure can. Here, help yourself. Thank you. Something tells me that I'm going to have to make another batch. You got two. You're welcome, dear. They grabbed two of them. plenty of Nabisco sugar honey grams at your house. NyQuil. <laughs> I, it looked like he was gonna just scream. That would have been, that would have been funny to me. I want to make an edit where he just starts screaming. Ah! All right, that was bad, but uh, you get the point. The Vic Company has very big news for you. A new nighttime colds medicine called NyQuil. NyQuil relieves major cold symptoms like sniffles, sneezes, nasal congestion, scratchy throat, and coughing for hours to help you get a good night's sleep. NyQuil, the most unique nighttime colds medication ever developed by Vicks. Wow, incredible. Incredible stuff there. If you grew up in the 1960s, you remember this. Life in America. Yeah, this is, uh... Ugh. 
that, that was that was pretty cool. 